This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! We're trapped! Oh, duck's dead. Rift duck. Duck has ear damage, permanent ear damage. We'll never hear Glenn. again. Glenn! die either when I say that door stays shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous what do you mean worse what they do you mean by right that? to us where the hell is your humanity whoa chill the fuck out lady we're just people trying to avoid those things just like you don't come in here and swear at me I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people you'll have to excuse her the hell he or anyone will this is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Uh, I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. Then just go! Damn. I... They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have I didn't think I'd be an asshole. No, I'm restarting God. just because of that. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. A minute. Wait a minute, Clem. I wear an asshole. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. <laughs> Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. We have to end mm -mm. this now. Over my dead I was body. there. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw You're him not out. strong Don't enough. Smash his head in. Kenny, to stop fight it. back. What do we do about this guy? Fuck Dad, this bitch ass it's out. just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But you uh, are, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason, reason with him. With, him. with the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody's doing anything. I mean, I want to knock him shut out. Shut up, but... Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us. And they will down. get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now. We're about to then be trapped stop. in here with one of those things. We're gonna die anyway then, about? so let's He's just not That's how let's just let him kill us. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy. Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry hey, about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, Probably. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. He She'll doesn't find mean the he's bite. Bitten. Watch. She won't. And if she does, then the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. 
No, the fuck we ain't. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Weak ass and punch, damn. Stuck in here the whole time. Bro died in the bathroom. Bro st bro's asshole started bleeding and he died. That's fucking... Bro. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> but now I'm also deaf. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. <clears throat> Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. are gonna get hit. Stupid. Why why'd you twist your arm hairs? Why are they curled? Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie Trigger Finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, now you're dying. Uh, Look up your mouth uh, shut. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Good. Uh, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. Just We've been let trying him to die. get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. Yep. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Sure. Everyone else should get comfy Fuck your and look dad, for anything useful. I guess, we could be in something. here a while. So I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh... Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Let's read the newspaper. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. Uh, it was a... What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. That sucks. Let me have a look. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the power. Hmm, nothing. We're gonna check the volume. And we're gonna stop, please. We're gonna check the back. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You didn't even see what type. You. It ain't hard to tell what type of battery it is. Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Um. Not now. Uh, not right now. All right. 
Let me know if you want to. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Or someone just took it all. Candy bar. I want to look around. There's a battery. Clementine. Uh, you can have a candy bar. Here you go. Thank you. Hey there. Hi. Uh. <coughs> can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I gave you Same. something. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. You'll have to wait. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I Great think conversation, so. Great uh, conversation, guys. Being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. She doesn't even know what that means. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Uh. The pills are in there. Really? Damn. I didn't know that. I'm keeping the energy bar. You don't deserve it. Fuck you. I don't like you. Alright. Now I have three. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. You got stressed no, out. Take a candy bar. But here for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Uh. It's all melted now. That's crazy. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, doesn't there matter. Worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we you wanted Kat to. And I appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Uh, how's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Uh, she's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's your plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? Yeah. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They Tell them the truth. Own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have choice I guess try to let it go that's crazy it's take these batteries the radio. great thanks that's a big ass Here's fucking battery should be able to get it to work now so is that one let me check it out it's still not working yeah I can't figure it out let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. <coughs> Alright, we flip it around. Open it back. Oh, wait, I can mess with this. Uh, 
fixed batteries. Got the batteries in backwards. You fixed it. Yeah, it was not hard. You're just stupid. You know what? You take a fucking candle. I don't like you taking it. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh, really sweet. I was totally listening to that radio the entire time. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Okay. Lily. My dad's Larry. You said that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of you. You are. Me. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you no down. No one made you in charge. No that one. violence before Why are my you dad. in charge? It didn't help. I doubt you were put in charge. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Well, where are they? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make okay. him the reason everything's screwed. I wasn't... I was just saying. Where's her mom? Uh, so good better, question. I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, no, not her dad. that'd be pedophilia. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta, she'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. It got darker. I'm gonna get back to him now. Okay. Bye. Let me get in the office. Alive inside, that's crazy. Cause that ain't true. Re rest in peace. Um, mom and dad. from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? 
Well, I'm not gonna go looking for. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Find anything? How do you not hear her open the door? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is when drama out there. Really, I, You've got I, this little girl to yeah, take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Dang, what the fuck was that? My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. Was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Any, any, <gasps> even any drawer near her. Um, How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Hey, what the fuck was that? You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. I didn't answer the <sighs> question either. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight, we just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Understellar. I, 
I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my that finger. That splinter ripped bleeding? your finger open. A little. A little? I'll find you a bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Alright, let me just get your thing before you ask about it. I got you a band-aid. I, I should take out the splinter. Don't want that to get bad. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Take the band-aid. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Uh. Does it hurt when I do this? A little. Not too much. You sure? Yeah. Why are you lying? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It was at the tip of the finger, though. That's what I figured. Alright, let's just get in here. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Check down the keys. Alright, let's go. Checked everything in here. Head back into the drugstore Drink some water. Okay. Lee? Hmm. Yeah. You're you not bad, right? I, uh, um, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I'll tell you the truth. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. I am justified. Kind of. Not legally. Uh. Hey, Doug. I almost forgot How your name. I almost called you Good. Chuck. Wanna You're not go Chuck, have a look though. around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. Back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. I ain't that stupid, Doug. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? 
No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Mm -hmm. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Not enough. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. Doug. You want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. But we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. Yeah. I can't reach that brick. Uh. Let's get back inside. Okay. Yeah. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Uh, let's go now. I literally have nothing else to do. I think I have to go here to finish this. You're a pretty this. good shot. Like... Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last code. cup of coffee. Uh... You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, that guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are, they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. 
You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, leave. Just leave me alone. Damn. Hey, Connie. I'm sorry. Um, fuck. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's go. Shit. Get down! Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Alright then, wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay, dokie. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Come on, everybody, let's go over here. Let's look. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Ow! Hey man! That drew some attention. Be careful. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Was sick. Grab it. Okay. Uh. They really want to get into that room. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It come in handy. That was awesome! No, it wasn't. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Oh, 
That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. I hope that girl's okay. I hope that girl's okay. I hope that girl's okay. Shake stupid. I'll wait for him to get close. Why'd you go for the stomach? Lee, get him! Damn, you call it a him? Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Give me that axe. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Take the axe. Two more. That should help. You guys are so scared of me. You guys are very scared of me. Swing the axe. You're dead. And you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Rad. Did you just say rad? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yeah. Come on. Out. Finally. Hello. You're hurt. Oh God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't Glenn, want that. shut the fuck up. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Easy convincing. Could have just handed it to her. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. Because yeah, your girlfriend go is gonna what? die. Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Just... Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and 
Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Oh. Let's get them now. Alright. Awesome. I would have been allowed to ship. Now to distract those things. Alright, grab it, 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 grab it. Open it then, you dumbass. back be careful keep an eye out will you Finish it, man. Stop aiming for the neck. Aim for the head. So fucking dumb. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. All right. Got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Yeah, let's go. Me may my mom. Uh wait, can I talk to you real quick? Alright, no. Axe it. Stab it. Yeah. I um did nothing. Uh Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. Hurry up. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. 
Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back locked as fast it. as I can! Before this happened. Stay away from the I mean it was, but we unlocked it. Why did it sound like she was Echo? Hey Lee. Oh. If we don't make it through There's this, someone back. you know that I think you're a great guy. Thanks, man. Thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should go! Who's I that should man? know what? Huh? You said I should know. Yeah. On it. That's crazy. Sure? Shoot him. Oh, okay then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Close the door. Did you find anything? Nothing. Keep looking. The window is screwed. Go. Close the door. I found something. It's gotta hurt. Slamming into the door. Doorknob. Or whatever the fuck it is. Why would you be on the back? Well. Let's see. Doug is a fat man with computer geniusness, and she is a girl with a gun. And amazing aim. Maybe not a amazing, but good aim. Oh, he's dead. Shit. Um. Oh my god. Let's go. I'm sorry, Doug. I don't give a fuck right now. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Turn around. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Right, damn, close the door, stop looking. Definitely a child just got murdered. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. He can leave. your friends. Be safe. Thanks, then. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, 
People are going to give up. We have to go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Goodbye, Glenn. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd mm -hmm. rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? Yeah? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You have done. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Oh, and then? Hey, Doc, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. The fuck Let you me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Oh my god. You you spare like her, my child. Daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if okay. anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee. You're gonna beat the fuck out of that old second. man. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Thanks. Your dad doesn't think so. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. 